he's lucky he got a one. Sounds like he's a zero yeah. to me. Yeah. Yeah. But David at, at, Nazar, yeah. cabbies are pissed off. They are not happy. You know, Rick and Elizabeth, it's really turning into a battleground out there on the streets of Los Angeles. Of course, in this case, the battle is really a war of words between the car service folks and the cabbies as they obviously compete for customers. And as you just mentioned, these taxi folks, well, they're not happy these days. I hailed a taxi out here on Sunset Boulevard in the heart of Los Angeles, and the LA Checker Cab Company delivered. Checker is one of the city's largest franchises. Eddie James Stewart has been a certified driver with the company for 12 years. He says he likes the freedom of driving and doesn't want a boss who's constantly looking over his shoulder. Unfortunately, these days, Eddie's now looking over his own shoulder at the competition. That competition is the various car services that are now shuttling people around the city. Services like Uber and Sidecar that are taking folks all over from Beverly Hills to LAX, downtown to the Valley. Eddie has an impeccable driving record. It's his wallet that's now taking a hit as he competes with the lower wheelchair. rates of the it's car services. Cars. Eddie I divulges really his taxi uh, cab confession. These new car companies are hogging the road. He and his fellow cabbies are losing anywhere from 30 to 40 percent of their take home pay. As you see yourself getting kind of squeezed out from all the competition with these car services, how frustrating is it? It's very frustrating. Uh, you wonder uh, about your longevity in this business. Uh, will it continue? Uh, you know it's not going to continue at the rate that it was in the past. Uh, and that's always a concern about job security. It's very frustrating in the sense that we don't all have to play by the same rules. Uh, our cars are uh, certified uh, through DOT. Our meter is certified through weights and measures. Uh, and our employees are trained and they're drug tested. So the cost of to get into this business and to maintain this business is a lot different than someone using a map or a, uh, a, a cell phone and pick up an order or pick up a client, pick up a customer and just go to and fro at a cut rate price. In addition to every taxi driver in the state having to be approved by the Department of Transportation, they have extensive drug and alcohol testing every year and then are randomly tested several times a year. Eddie also explains that checker cabs, like other cab companies, have special commercial insurance that protects both the driver and the passenger. Eddie says the car services are nowhere near as comprehensive as the cab services in their approach to safety and reliability. It's uh, more competition uh, and sometimes we consider it to be unfair competition. They don't have to pay the same type of uh, regulation and, and fees and things that we have to pay so they have the opportunity to set their prices a lot lower than what ours are. You get uh, uh, less calls from the, uh, from the company, you get uh, a, a less amount of flag downs on the street. Uh, you, uh, you even uh, don't have people who would traditionally call you back. Uh, they won't call you because they've discovered a, a, a cheaper form of transportation, so to speak. How do you level that playing field between the taxi service and these car services? We're not saying that there shouldn't be uh, other entities that have the opportunity to service the people of LA, but it has to be fair just has to be fair.